Good day, my name is Thomas Huddleston. I am the main author of the MIPEX study, which uh, you might be familiar with. We've just launched it for Australia. And now, what does the MIPEX tell you about Australia? Well, the MIPEX is a way of comparing and then evaluating policies, which in Europe we refer to as integration policies, but which you in Australia would more talk about as settlement policies. And what we look at is whether these policies set the conditions for equal rights, responsibilities and opportunities for legal immigrants who come to the country. So we're looking at seven areas that are really key to settlement. Labor market mobility for legal immigrants, family reunion, uh, long-term or permanent residence, anti-discrimination laws, political participation opportunities, uh, access to citizenship and education of migrant children. So, where does Australia really come out on top of this index? And Australia scores uh, very high, 68 out of 100, which we interpret as their settlement policies are slightly favourable actually to encourage the participation of legal immigrants. And Australia ranks as fifth, so one of the best of the 33 countries, alongside, say, Canada and the United States. Now, particularly, what Australia does better than other countries is help immigrants and their children to reunite as a family, to help immigrant kids find their way and do well in school, and to encourage permanent residents to become full Australian citizens. Now, Australia doesn't do well in other areas where it limits the labour market mobility of temporary migrant workers. It doesn't give them full access to social benefits and does not give uh, permanent residents immediate access to social benefits. Also, Australia's anti-discrimination laws at the state and territory level are rather uneven, so we don't have uh, coherent protection of all people, including immigrants, for many key areas for their participation. Now, what surprised me most, having done a lot of comparisons in Europe and in the United States and Canada, was not Australia's multicultural and citizenship policies. Those are really well known across the world. What surprised me was the lack of a National Human Rights Act, because we see that Canada, the United States, and even the UK and Sweden have really been leading the fight, not just against discrimination, but also by promoting equality, creating equality duties for the public sector, and allowing for positive action or positive discrimination. They've also created single acts, which mean that you harmonize the grounds for discrimination so that you can really guarantee equal protection for all protected classes of persons at a national level. Now, how can you use MIPEX in Australia? Well, if you're a researcher, now you have a tool that allows you to compare what Australia is doing on settlement to all of the EU countries, the United States, Canada, and soon other countries. Also, if you're in, in uh, advocacy or in policy making, you can look critically at the MIPEX results and think about the areas of weakness that we identify, where perhaps Australia could be learning from other countries, like Canada, the United States, the UK, or Sweden. So, these areas of weakness then could lead to proposals for changes of policy in Australia. But in those areas where Australia really does succeed, like on citizenship policy or family reunion, the MIPEX can be used to confirm those strengths of those policies and actually instead ask for how those policies can be better implemented and given more means so that they can be more effective in practice to make integration work daily.